Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you as always for tuning back in. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Leila, the Renormand Reader. And today folks, we are doing another combination video. I have this from a request from Jacqueline, the Scythe and the Lily. So thank you Jacqueline for bringing this through. Let's look at the Scythe and the Lily. Admittedly, this can be a bit of a not so clear combination, not really telling us what this could be. Let's break down the cards or the pair into the individual cards. So we know that the scythe is the card of cutting through. It's a sharp card, it releases. It is also a card of suddenness and it can point to change just through the idea of cutting through or releasing from something, right? The lily is one of those broad cards. Um, it can be a bit confusing or flat, should we say. It doesn't really tell us much, but we can endow the cards with meaning. And I take the lily to mean um, the idea of life in general, our life path, and also our career. It is also associated with health sometimes, and it is a card of wisdom and maturity by virtue of this life experience that it is associated with. So anything that has to do with life chapters, life milestones, um, you know, the, these big chapters in life, um, our direction in general, I associate it with the lily. I, I take it to mean this broader life environment that we are in. So when we have something like the scythe and lily, I really feel this has to do with a life change. This can imply a big change in our life direction, in our life path, and it can also suggest that we need to change some kind of foundation aspect in our life. So the thing about the scythe and lily is that it can be a deep change. We can expect a change of direction. From a health perspective, there can be something significant that happens. I don't think I would associate this with an accident. I would prefer something like the whip or maybe the rider to show up with the scythe. Instead, with the lily, I feel there could be a change um, in our health and maybe it sets us on a different course. So the way things go with the lily is that it affects our deeper life, the deeper foundations of our life and our life direction in general. Now, when it comes to specific contexts, uh, then the combination can have a more specific meaning. So if we're asking about the job, then the lily is also a really good card because the lily is associated with work and career. And so with the scythe, then this can look, this can look like a change of job, but it can also mean a deeper change, like a, a change of career. So it's not just that we're moving jobs. It's like we're moving our, uh, we're changing our profession. So this can be a deeper uh, aspect here. In another context, like love or relationships, for example, in this case, the lily is associated with long-term relationships and um, the idea of going old together, usually in, in marriage and love. And when we see the scythe here, there can be a change. But I would need more cards to suggest something like a divorce, for example, because um, the scythe can be a bit neutral and so can the lily. So it's not really clear um, or final, should we say, from just this pair. So let's go ahead and draw triplets then to see what other indications we might get in terms of you know, how the scythe and lily changes with the influence of other cards. So I'm gonna just fan out the deck as I usually do and I'm gonna pick a third card. Okay, this is clear. This is a clear combination. In fact, it would be clear without the lily. So the scythe and the house would point to a change of residence. The thing about the lily here is that it suggests that we change the place where we had been with for a long time. Um, it can be associated with concepts like where we grew up type of thing, or you know where we grew roots, because the lily has to do with the long term. So when we see the lily and house, it points to this time that we spent in this home or in this place and with the site there could be a change in that um, so this is clearly a change of residence a change of location but there is also a more metaphorical indication of the triplet which suggests that this group or environment or sort of atmosphere that we grew in for a while it needs to change 
um, the idea of like renovating and changing our environment, you know, changing just our headspace can also come through uh, the lily and house. And I don't think that it would affect, the order would affect the meaning of the cards. If I had the scythe at the end, I feel it's as powerful as if it were in the beginning. Um, the idea of changing, needing to change. If it were in the middle, I think it is also the same. The idea is that we need to change our lifestyle. We need to change how we live. You know, we need to make deeper changes. Maybe it's not just with regard to the home, but we really need to, you know, change things around. Um, in all probability, because of the lily pointing to life and career and our life direction, it's like we need to do things differently with the scythe. You know, long-standing long habits, long-term uh, approaches to our life and lifestyle need to change. So this can be a pretty encouraging uh, triplet if we're looking to improve ourselves, you know, to make changes in our life in a deeper way. It would certainly be encouraged uh, with the lily and the house. The house is associated with foundations, you know, what we've built. And clearly we've grown on top of that because of the lily and its association with time and maturity. But with the scythe, it looks like it's time for a change. So maybe these foundations have served their purpose. We've achieved certain goals. We've reached certain milestones. And now it's time for a radical change. So quite a, quite a life-changing combination. Let's move on to another triplet. The woman. So clearly this brings up a relationship aspect. It probably suggests a separation. And the lily here can mean that this is in reference to a long-standing situation with this woman. Can it point to someone passing on because the lily is associated with life and it is also a card of the elderly and with that sense of maturity and with the scythe here, possibly through the association of the lily with health as well. It can suggest that. I would want a context for that to come out. But on its own, that would not be the first interpretation for me for the cards. Instead, I feel that this is a change in the relationship. And um, the lily can, can suggest that this is a professional relationship and that uh, there could be a fallout of sorts or perhaps there is a, a breaking of a connection here. Um, if we had the woman in the middle, again, I don't think that the order of the cards really affects uh, the interpretation. It's really the scythe that is uh, so sharp, regardless of where it is, it has the same influence. The thing about the lily and woman can uh, bring qualify the woman um, as a professional person, someone we know in our workplace or in our professional environment. But again, with the scythe, this can point to some kind of uh, separation, if not a separation, possibly a shock uh, about this person or uh, perhaps she shocks us in a certain way. I think the more obvious interpretation would be some kind of a, a change in the connection or a separation of sorts. And again, um, if we had it in this order, I'm not seeing that um, that it affects the, the connection. It's really if the lily and woman were farther apart, it can bring out this idea of the long-term situation within this relationship that needs to change. And so this is regardless of whether uh, the woman is a professional connection or not. The idea of having the lily adjacent to the woman is that it can qualify the woman as someone in our professional environment, a colleague or, or someone else. But when they're apart, the idea of the long term or this long standing situation, I would say probably, especially on the left hand side, can suggest a change in the relationship. So these are my suggestions for this uh, triplet with the woman. Let's go for a few more. Oh, the key. This is nice. So the key is an all around success card. Uh, it brings solutions, resolutions. It is the card of intelligence, of insight, unlocking opportunity. And anytime I see the key with the scythe, I feel that this is a breakthrough. The idea of a flash of insight, um, like a realization, uh, finding a solution. You know, maybe uh, with the lily, you'd been working and toiling and thinking about a certain uh, solution for a situ situation. And then with the scythe and key, you get that breakthrough, you get that insight, and you're able to uh, figure it out. Um, it's also possible that this triplet, in this order, I would say, 
suggest that it's important to make a life change uh, because that's what will lead to success. So the key is at the right hand side here, which can be associated with the outcome. And the Lily uh, and Scythe here suggest that it's important to make a change. Uh, it's important to do things differently if we want to, to achieve a certain success. I think if we had the Scythe and the Lily, I would also say something similar applies, but I would add that it's important for, for solutions to align with our life path and to have long-term impact and long-term uh, considerations. So I think either way it's similar, maybe just some slight nuances here. I don't think it affects really the order. If we had the key in here at the beginning on the left, I also think that a similar indication comes through the idea that success comes when we make a deeper change to our life. So that would be similar to what we read in the first instance. So the key is an exciting card. It brings uh, the idea of success. But again, because of the lily, it's this deeper element at play. So we're looking at deeper changes. And uh, this can be also a successful milestone such that we can release it and put it behind us now that it's done. That too is a possibility. The key is really about success on a deeper sense, uh, maybe on a bigger scale for our lifestyle, but also with the scythe, the need to make a radical change. So changing our approach really. That's how I would take it with the key. So pretty much the same indications regardless of the order. Let's go for more triplets. Oh, well, now that's an obvious one. Um, there's no two ways about the ring and scythe when they show up together. This is the combination of divorce. And it doesn't get more clear in terms of Lenormand. This is one of those combinations that speaks for itself. So when we see the lily, this usually points to a life partner. So this can be a divorce proper. Um, it can also point to a career. So a, a radical change of career, just changing what, we, what we've been doing a complete release from our involvement so far. So a pretty radical combination here. I would say more radical than what we read with the house, where we suggested that we are changing our foundations in deeper ways. So if we had the ring and scythe, any, any way the cards are set up such that the ring and scythe are next to each other, this is probably going to point to a divorce. But even if they were separated by a third card, I still think that the divorce combination comes through pretty clearly. Um, again, in this one, for example, ring, lily, and scythe, this is a, a change from our involvements. Perhaps the relationship element is not so salient as if it were directly with the scythe, but I, I don't think that, I don't think that's, uh, that makes a strong case. I still think that a divorce is very possible. Uh, maybe we need context for it, of course, but we would need context anyway even if they were next to each other, unless it's a totally open-ended reading. And with the lily and ring here, we're looking at our life commitments, you know, these big commitments that we've made in, in our life, the jobs we do, the work, uh, the career we pursue, um, the, the kinds of people we associate with, uh, the activities and the hobbies that take up many hours of our week. All of these can be deep involvements that are represented by the lily. And when we have the ring and scythe, we are looking at a deep change here, at a severance of our involvement in these affairs. But I think the relationship element comes through very strongly as well. So I think this is a very obvious combination, uh, very, um, you know, very clear in its meaning. And I think regardless of the, of the order of the cards, the same indications come through. Now, in this example, with the lily on the right-hand side, um, the separation that is represented by the ring and scythe can lead into some kind of new life. Uh, a new lease of life is possible. Um, a new life path comes through because the lily is on the right. That is possible as an additional nuance. Let's continue with more triplets. Scythe and Lily. Let's go for maybe a couple more. Interesting. So the fox. Now the fox is the card of the trickster. So it can be associated with traps and fraudsters. It tends to be a tricky character, someone clever. However, the fox is also the card of jobs. 
and typically of nine to five kind of job. So the idea of a routine and discipline. And actually the fox is really good with that. It's really good with families, you know, committing to family, attending to the family. It's also very good with discipline, being consistent and focused on the goal. So it does have a bright aspect, you know, by virtue of being a smart animal. Uh, so when I see it with the lily, I think the job and work comes into play. The lily and fox uh, both have that work element. So when they come together, I feel it's reinforced and that theme can come through. Of course, if your question uh, involves a different theme, then you can interpret the cards differently, of course. You need to make sense of the cards for any context. And when we have the scythe in this combination here, this points to a job change and possibly also a career change. So they would come together. I think this is a pretty clear interpretation of these cards. Now suppose we turn the order around. I think this would be very similar because the lily and fox continue to be adjacent. So I would still say it's a job change. In here, it's possible if this is not about the job change, which can still be the case in this triplet, it's possible that you need to get some um, tricky characters out of your life. Maybe it's important to, let's say, declutter your life from not so honest people, not transparent people, um, you know, people whom you can't really know what they're up to, you know, people who ha are half-hearted and have um, not so clear intentions, which is what's represented by the fox. That's also possible. Sometimes the fox represents um, some kind of consultant, an employee, someone you go to for certain specialties, like it can be an accountant, a real estate agent. The idea is the worker because the fox is associated with employment and employees. So when we see it with the lily, perhaps there is someone of a certain profession who had been helping you uh, for something like maybe your accountant, your real estate agent, your, um, you know, your banker, you know, any number of roles like that. And the thing about the lily and scythe with the fox, it can mean that you need to change this person or you know, you, you don't go to them anymore or maybe they did something and you're disappointed and you want to change that. That's a possibility. Um, another thing is that the fox can represent something like a customer or an employee and the lily being associated with work and career, the scythe and fox can suggest that there are layoffs, um, that people are being let go or that one specific person is being let go or perhaps that you lose a customer and there is a change in this regard. So it can be a bit sharp like that. The fox is often negative and so with a sharp card like the scythe there can be a disappointment or maybe a trap that is actually played out. And I think that this is also possible in this combination. The lily in the sense would be so broad that perhaps the combination holds even without it. The interpretation holds without it. The thing here about the lily is that it can mean that it affects you in a deeper way or that it affects a certain area of your life, your life path, your lifestyle. So it's important to be aware of people who are playing to win and it's important to be aware of any traps. If we had the lily in the middle, I'm not seeing a difference. If we had the fox in the middle, I'm not really seeing a difference. And I think we've played around with these already. The idea of a, a change of a job and career, I think is the most uh, salient interpretation that comes through these cards. And if there's a different context, then I would say we want to watch out for a certain character. Okay, let's move on to another pair, triplet. Interesting, that's interesting. The bear is another one of those cards that doesn't really speak to us like other cards. The bear is the card of the boss, someone who's strong, imposing, influential, often associated with wealthy people, you know, people who have stature and a lot of status. So in this combination, the lily, scythe and bear, I feel it's important to break into the next level of your career. So you've been going down the path, and now you need to break out from your path and step up to the next level. It can also point to competition because the bear is associated with competition. Typically, I look for the whip or tricky cards like the snake, possibly the mouse and fox, to think of the bear as competition. But the scythe can bring this up, can bring this up. So 
the idea of having to beat the competition, of having to um, break out of this battle and to come out on top, especially with the bear on the right-hand side because it's more like the outcome area of a line. So the bear is about stepping up and being up to it. It's also a card of courage and strength. So very important to break out of this energy of the lily, which is slow and calm into a louder, bigger kind of energy that is represented by the bear. So no more shying out and sticking to your path. Really time to step up and show your colors, show what you have, putting it out there probably. So that is one way to read the cards. It's also possible that in, for example, a more specific environment like the workplace, it's possible that this can refer to a manager or a boss. And with the scythe here, there can be layoffs, just like we saw with the fox, similar idea, but that would be through a specific context. That is possible. If we switch the cards around, I think in this way, it's the same thing. The idea of promotion, stepping up, um, just growing, becoming bigger, bringing out the bigger aspects of ourselves, not shying out, you know? These also come through here. Now the bear and lily can refer to parents. The bear is associated with the mother in classical Lenormand, whereas the house is associated with the father. And the lily is associated with elderly people or more mature, more experienced people. And so when we see the bear and lily together, this can bring up the idea of parents. Now, with the scythe, like we suggested with, uh, with the woman, can this suggest someone passing away, a parent passing away? Yes, but again, I would want more context. Perhaps it's in the context of, you know, someone who's not well. And even then, I'm still not inclined. Like, I need more cards to suggest that because it's not an event that happens so frequently that two or three cards are enough for that. So I would want something like the whip and coffin, you know, something like that. But it can point to health issues uh, with someone older, or it can mean that there's a sudden event around um, an issue with our parents or something like that. Again, the context will drive this. If we had this another way around, I think with the scythe at the beginning, I think it's the same idea because the bear and lily uh, can suggest parents. Now in my dictionary, the bear and lily can also represent legal matters. And I inherit this combination meaning from Titania's cards. The bear and lily can suggest the law, legal matters, and anything associated with that, like some administration. So with the scythe here, this can be probably a disappointment or a shock or a need to handle a situation urgently. So there can be an urgent legal matter here that needs to be attended to, or perhaps if we're already embroiled in one, then this can be a bit of a hurtful point. Uh, maybe something doesn't work out to our advantage and we have to handle that shock. So that's another way we can read the cards. I'm gonna do one more uh, triplet and we will wrap up this combination, this pair. Let's see what we get. The ship, that's a good card to get. A travel card. Again, I feel this can be similar to what we saw with the house. The idea of changing our life direction is coming through. So with the house, it can point to this physical location. With the ship, it can point to a country or our city or our town. Maybe we're making a move from where we lived for a long time, but with the ship, there is also an added sense of direction because of the ship setting sail, you know, discovering. It's very much associated with um, venturing out, being adventurous and broadening our horizons. And definitely when we have something like the lily, we are looking at our life in general and really just sort of, you know, the need to, to change how we've lived to be open to different ways of living, different ways of living a life, different lifestyles, you know, really getting out of the box of our life and venturing out is very much what can be brought out by the scythe and ship on either side of the lily. I don't think this meaning changes here. Perhaps it can point to a career direction. Maybe we're setting sail in a new direction in our career, but I think that's part of what we initially interpreted as well. It works well here. Again, here, I'm not seeing so much of a difference in the meaning and similar to this one. So I'm, I'm really not feeling any um, 
not even nuances I feel from changing the order of these cards. Let me know if you come up with something different. I would love your perspective. Um, so again, the ship and Lily really brings out the idea of a life direction, very much so. And I would say in a broad way. So if I had the rider, for example, instead of the ship, it can be a bit of uh, the day-to-day -day goals. The rider is good with goals. You know, I feel that the ship is more about the direction, you know, the bigger picture. The rider would be the day-to-day -day goals, the smaller goals, three, six, one-year goals. But with the ship, it's really about this direction. Where are we heading in life? And with the scythe, it's about making a big change to where we thought we were heading in life. So this can be really exciting. And um, the thing about such cards is that they look really plain and simple, but it is possible to draw some big life path questions and indications and meanings through Lenormand's cards. Of course, it's up to you. It's up to how you endow the cards with meaning, how you like to make sense of them. I like to use them for all the levels, from the simple day-to-day -to, -day to the big picture in life. You know, So I think Lenormand is flexible and it works for all of this. So these are my suggestions for the Scythe and Lily. Thank you again, Jacqueline, for suggesting this. If you folks want me to interpret any specific combination, then I've got the information in the description box. You can get in touch and let me know what combination you want us to look at. So let me know your thoughts about this interpretation, folks. Leave me your feedback, your comments, or any additional ways you might interpret the cards or any of the triplets or any other triplets we didn't look at. It's always helpful for other people in the comments who are working through Lenormand. So thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I'm looking forward to our next video together. And until then, stay tuned and take very good care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching.